Hi there, here is the Boat Watch Extent. It comes with a huge 1.69 inch display, built in Alexa, and it's priced very aggressively at just 3,499. Fun fact the launch price of this was just 2,999. Absolute killer. Okay, I've actually already unboxed it and I've been using it on and off for a couple of weeks. I'll share my experiences and take you through all the features so you can decide if you should buy this or not. So, let's start with the built in design. So I have the olive green color and damn it looks so beautiful. Also check out the frame color, perfect olive. The body is made of polycarbonate but the finish feels like metal, making it look so much more premium. A single button on the side to wake the display and to access the menu. The back houses all the sensors, heart rate sensor, SPO2 sensor, charging terminals and even a small microphone on the side for Alexa. The charger is magnetic and aligns as we bring it closer. The straps are pretty wide and provide me with a very good grip and also can be replaced with any 22mm third party bands. Coming to the display, so it comes with a huge 1.69 inch LCD display and it looks pretty nice. Extremely slim bezels on three sides but a small chin at the bottom. We don't have the resolution for this watch but everything looks clear, crisp and vivid. The watch also comes with an auto brightness feature which means it changes the brightness as per the lighting conditions. However, you can set it manually in the settings as well. The raise the wrist to wake the display isn't the quickest, in fact it's sometimes very slow but the only saving grace is it worked every time. Coming to my favorite feature, built in Alexa. So you can ask it general trivia questions, you can ask it for conversions, you can ask it for the weather and above all voice control Alexa smart devices which is something I use a lot and that's really helpful. You can swipe right on your home page to trigger Alexa or just press and hold the button on the side for 2 seconds. Simple. You'll need to set it up once using the Boatwave app. The process is extremely simple. All you need to do is log in with your Amazon credentials and you're done in a couple of seconds. For those who might be confused, you don't need any Prime membership for this to work. Just Amazon login details. Also, to use it, the watch needs to be connected to your phone, has to be around your phone and that phone needs to have access to internet. That's it. Then the watch also comes with 5 ATM waterproof rating, so wearing it in the shower or for a swim is perfectly fine. Yes, it also comes with swim tracking. The watch comes with 300mAh battery and boat claims 7-10 to 10 days with typical use, which was actually something I was able to achieve. One week easily it would last and it takes about 2 hours to fully charge. Then it comes with 14 workout modes, running, walking, cycling, hiking, yoga, gym workouts, swimming and even elliptical training. I wore it for a run a couple of times and the tracking was actually quite accurate. Shows you your heart rate, time, pace, distance and some more details. One of my favorite features was auto sports recognition, which you can toggle on and off in the Boatwave app settings. It's available only for walking and running, which is something I use this watch tracking primarily for. So this comes very handy. So let's have a quick look at the interface. Swipe towards the right to access Alexa. Swipe right, you can see the steps, heart rate, stress levels, outdoor walks, and if you come into more, you can access all your workouts directly from here. Going back, Swipe from down to access quick toggles, do not disturb, raise the wrist to wake the display, brightness levels and find phone. Swipe from the top to access your notifications, press the home button to access the menu, health data, sports, all your sport modes are here, Amazon Alexa, sports records, heart rate monitoring, blood oxygen, stress levels, breath training, sleep tracking, weather, music app to control music that's playing on your phone, stopwatch, alarm timer, find phone and settings. In settings you can enable or disable the wake gesture, do not disturb, watch faces, brightness levels, power off, restart and even reset. So nice and simple but I would have preferred if it was a little more smoother. It's still okay but it feels a little laggy at times but it's okay, could be better. Then you receive call alerts with vibration and it's almost instantaneous. It shows you the caller's name and an option to reject the call. There's no way to silent the ringer. I really wish it had that option, comes very handy. Similarly, you receive notification alerts. I noticed a delay of 2 or 3 seconds. You can read the text and it's quite clear. So let's have a closer look at the boat wave interface. You can see the steps right here. Calories burnt, training, sleep tracking, heart rate, stress, SpO2 levels. In training, you can use it for connecting it to your phone's GPS to track your workouts. In devices, you can see your device right here, connected, battery percentage, 
this is from where you get your watch faces there you go tons of them wow huge collection of watch faces and some really nice ones you can also customize it with your own picture select your picture and click install and there you go going back this is from where you connect to alexa if you go inside here shows you more details of your steps amazon alexa watch faces health monitoring faqs you can set your alarms message notifications from which apps you want notifications and from which apps you don't there is also call alerts there is auto sports recognition more device settings do not disturb find my phone music controls wake gesture firmware update and some more details if you coming to the settings you will see third party app this is from where you can share your data either with apple health for ios or google fit for android okay so here are my final thoughts well the interface could have been a little better optimized maybe an update would make it smoother but it works it's not a deal breaker what i loved about this watch is the price to performance ratio great screen built in alexa heart rate sensor spo2 sensor 5 atm water resistance rating and one week battery for 3499 this is probably the best value for your money easily recommended it. it's available in four interesting colors black and gold olive green beige and red and blue i leave the links below in the description for all these colors you should definitely check it out so i hope this video was helpful if there are any questions feedback or complaints mention it down in the comments all are welcome don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time cheers